Good morning, Western Washington, and happy Tuesday. I'm Matthew Fab with Western Washington Weather, and today we're going to take a look at the forecast for the upcoming heat wave and what temperatures we can expect across the region. So let's start here with the UW satellite. As you can see, there's a pretty good marine layer across the entirety of Western Washington, all the way up into the Cascades. That is starting to burn off, and we will have mostly sunny skies for most of the region by this afternoon. Probably not on the coast, so we'll stay mostly cloudy out there. So let's take a look at our overall pattern here on the European model. This right here is the remnant of the upper level low that brought some thunderstorms to the region yesterday. As we play this through here, you can see that massive ridge builds to our north over British Columbia and will dominate the weather across BC, Washington, and Oregon and will bring very warm temperatures and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. And as you can see, we go through Friday, that ridge still hangs out before starting to move east on Saturday and into Sunday. And you can see by the time we reach uh, the start of next week, so this is late Sunday night, this mo run of the European model shows that there is significant troughing offshore, which would likely bring a more fall-like change in our weather, but that is still uncertain at this time, so stay tuned for more information on that. Let's take a look at temperatures here. So this is the national blend of models. This is the highest resolution temperature forecast we've got. So it's what we're going to be relying on a lot here. But we are going to take a look at some other forecasts to see just how hot this this heat wave is going to be. So for today, you can see from Seattle northward, highs will reach the uh, upper 60s to low 70s. Seattle southward, likely in the low to mid 70s. And then the coast remaining in the mid to upper 60s. And as we go into Wednesday, you can see that ridge starts to build. Highs from Seattle north are in the mid to upper 70s. Seattle southward in the upper 70s to low 80s. And then likely the mid 80s from Olympia south. And then the coast starts to warm up with that offshore flow with the beaches up to the upper 60s to low 70s. And inland areas up to the upper 70s to low 80s. Now it really all happens on Thursday. Take a look at these temperatures from Seattle northward. You're likely going to be in the mid 80s east of I-5 to the low 80s west of I-5. And then from Everett southward really highs will likely reach, except near the water where it will be in the upper 70s. Away from the water highs from Everett south will be in the mid to upper 80s. And from Tacoma southward likely in the low to mid 90s. Take a look at Olympia, they're reaching 93 on Thursday. And then take a look at the coast. It's going to be really nice and very warm out there. The beaches will likely reach the mid to upper 70s, with inland areas like Hoquiam and Raymond reaching the upper 80s to low 90s. Now you can see a change starts to occur on Friday as that marine air starts to move back in. The beaches drop to the upper 60s to low 70s, and the inland areas of the coast drop to the upper 70s. But it still remains hot in the lowlands from Seattle north, likely in the upper 70s to mid 80s, hottest east of I-5, and then from Seattle south in the mid 80s to low 90s. And as we go into Saturday, you can see some further cooling. Coast still remains there in the mid 60s to upper 60s on the beaches and the low 70s inland. It will be cloudier by this point. And then from Seattle north, highs reach the mid 70s to low 80s. Seattle southward, low 80s to mid 80s, mainly mid 80s from Olympia south. So now let's take a look at what that means for the southern part of western Washington here. So as you can see, the Portland and Vancouver metro area is here. Kelso and Longview are here, and this is Chehalis. So today, this area will mainly be in the mid to upper 70s. And then as we go into Wednesday, it starts to warm up substantially, especially for the Vancouver and Portland area, with highs for the Portland metro reaching the mid-90s tomorrow, and then upper 80s in Kelso. And then as we go on to Thursday, take a look at these temperatures. This is extreme for September. Highs for Vancouver and Portland will likely reach the low 100s, like 100 there in Portland, 101 maybe. And then Kelso area reaches the upper 90s, possibly the low 100s. And then Chehalis and the I-5 corridor, they reach the mid-90s. And then take a look here at Astoria and Long Beach. This area could reach the upper 70s to mid-80s. So you have that offshore flow, which brings... A spike in temperatures usually around midday. This forecast shows Astoria reaching 86 degrees. And then as we go through Friday, you can see the coast starts to cool a little bit with that marine layer and that onshore flow moving back in with highs at the beaches dropping to the upper 60s to low 70s and then mid to upper 70s inland there at Astoria showing 78. And then inland though on Friday, you can see Portland still reaching 99 degrees, so 100 is possible again, and then Kelso and Chehalis down to the low to mid 90s. 
So let's now take a look at the overall temperature forecast here. You can see highs will reach, this is Seattle, highs reach the upper 80s for two days there, and then we do start to gradually cool down. You can see this is for Vancouver, Washington showing 102 degrees there on Thursday and 99 on Friday. These are ex just extreme temperatures for September. And then that is a slight cool down there by Saturday, still in the 90s. And then as you see Hoquiam here, look at this. The National Blended Models are showing 89 degrees for Hoquiam on Thursday. That is very significant for the Washington coast. And then as that marine flow or that marine onshore flow returns, temperatures do begin to drop to the upper 70s on Friday down to the low 70s and upper 60s by the weekend. And then taking a look at Olympia, here you see two days in the low to mid 90s on Thursday and Friday, and then the mid 80s again on Saturday before we do start to cool down. And then finally, Bellingham, take a look at this. It's the same trend, but moderated a little bit. Low 80s for Bellingham on Thursday, and then upper 70s, low 80s, maybe Friday, Saturday before a cool down. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share these videos. We've got a lot more to talk about with the heat wave coming up over the next few days, so stay tuned for that, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.